Saubona, South Africa is the daily news wrap from the South African and it's Wednesday, the 17th March 2021. My name is Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com. In our top story today, the third wave and what experts say will cause SA's next super spreader event. It's a question of when rather than if, as we assess the potential third wave of COVID-19 in South Africa. A slow vaccine rollout, compounded by the onset of winter, is likely to fuel a resurgence in new infections. One of the key drivers for a spike in the transmission are super spreader events, and experts believe they know what will cause the next big one. In other news, the World Health Organization has called on countries to continue using the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine as concern mount over its possible side effects. All this comes as the number of countries halting the use of AstraZeneca vaccine is getting longer in Spain, Portugal, Germany, France and Italy announced in a period of 24 hours that they too would be suspending their rollouts. Meanwhile, the A heavyweight, Helen Zille, has weighed into the furious debate surrounding Adam Habib and his use of the N-word during a university webinar last week. According to the political veteran, the former wit's principal is merely a victim of cancel culture, stating that the context had been removed from Habib's original statement. In your sports today, Kaza Chiefs were held in a goalless draw. In their CAF Champions League Group C clash against Angolan side Petro de Luanda, Neither side was able to find the back of the net during the 90 minutes leave Amakosi and Petro de Luanda with a point apiece. Meanwhile, South African midfielder Kanya Lechabella has been praised by Leicester City manager Brendan Rodgers after making his first team debut with the English Premier League side. Lechabella, who is 21, joined the Foxes Academy in 2013 and made his long-awaited English tough fight in their 5-0 victory over Sheffield United last weekend. In your weather, Bloemfontein is 23 degrees with a chance of rain, Cape Town and Pretoria come at a sunny 26, and Johannesburg is 24 degrees today. And that's all you really need to know from the South African. For more of these and other stories, please visit thesouthafrican.com. My name is Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com.